Mori 1.3 now features PTEX. This technology allows users to paint and render models without having to define a UV map. Creating UVs for models is time consuming and some find frustrating. Mori now supports a PTEX workflow. Users can now load models without UVs and paint on them using the full set of Mori tools and export to .ptex files. Mori 1.3 also supports PTEX. To use this, we need to bring in a new model. In this case, my gun. When we open up this model, we can see we have a mesh option. And in here, we have a mapping scheme. This is currently set by default to apply the UVs if they're available, otherwise go on to produce PTEX. What we want to do is force this to become a pure PTEX model. With this selected, what we need to do is give it a channel, 16-bit, and we need to press OK. We are then presented with the second menu option for PTEX. We have two options to choose from when we create the PTEX options. In this case, we have the uniform face size and world density. Uniform face size. All faces, regardless of their model spatial dimensions, have a square texture of a fixed size associated to them. This is a quick texture association operation. Painting across multiple faces with varying spatial dimensions will not be smooth due to the difference in texel densities. What we also have is world space density. The model dimensions of each face are used to scale the textures assigned to them. For quad faces, the longest two adjacent edges are calculated, and for triangle faces, the longest edge is calculated. These edges are multiplied by the texel density scale and rounded up to a power of two. To obtain the texture dimensions, clamping to the range of available face sizes, in this case, to obtain the texture dimensions. Clamping to the range of available face texture sizes, in this case 1x1, one 8x8 one, eight eight for quad faces, and 2x2 two two and 8x8 eight eight for triangle faces. Note that this is dependent on the scale of the model. This is a slower assignment of operational uniform sizes, and painting across faces with varying special dimensions should appear smooth. In this case, for this example, we're going to be using the uniform face size. We're going to be leaving this the per face texture size as 16 by 16. Once Mari has loaded the model into the interface, it will have generated this as a PTEX object. What we need to do now is start painting directly on top of the model. As you can see, we have greyed out the UV and orthographic UV tabs. As there are no UVs to paint with, we can now simply select a paintbrush, select a brush, in this case the pepper, select a colour, and simply start texturing our model. Clear our buffer. You can see we can start texturing our model as soon as we have exported it from our independent modeling package. What we want to do now is apply our Mori logo to the barrel of the gun. What we can do is simply activate our paint through, go into our image manager, and select the required texture. In this case, our Mori logo. With this selected, what I want to do is drag this to the viewer and start painting directly onto the barrel of our gun. If we paint on here now, and leave this in the buffer, what we can see is that this is such a low resolution image. Our actual texture is quite high resolution. When we apply it to our gun, it becomes low res. To solve this, what we need to do is select the number of patches available and using the PTEX menu, up-res this to the required resolution. In this case, if we have our selection tool and we clear our buffer, we can do in lasso mode. Simply select 
this number of patches. What we need to do is go into our size. Initially, we set our text resolution by 16 by 16. What we need to do is change this to 2 by 2. We can go up to as high as 8, but for this, we're going to stay at 2. Once we've selected the required resolution, we need to hit the apply button. This will then resize these faces to become 2K. So if we perform the same operation again, simply the paint through, resize this to fit, paint this into our buffer, but by resizing the current patches, we can zoom into our texture size and maintain resolution. So if we leave this here, and if we move it across onto the downrest version, you can see that these are still 16 by 16, and we've not affected them. Therefore, if you wanted to apply a matte color to the gun, and then paint in some high resolution scratches, you can do this. So in this case, we will have one high resolution Mari badge. Paint this onto a buffer, and one low resolution Mari badge. Clear our buffer and select. You can see the difference between the two. The PTEX operation allows you to actually resize any of these faces on the fly to suit your painting and texturing needs.